Indianapolis tonight, a matchup of the WNBA's two hottest teams, the Indiana Fever and Minnesota Lynx. Look at the starting lineups tonight, and of course, Kelsey Mitchell. Olympic break, they've been the WNBA's two best teams since we returned to action, and this Fever offense has been sizzling. The top Mitchell has been the leading scorer in the Eastern Conference out of the Olympic break. Here's Hole on the drive, floats it up and floats it in. On Wednesday, she was right there though with 18. Clark looking ahead and finds Boston. Yeah, that's got him. Minnesota with the fourth ranked offense in the WNBA, and they've been playing well out of the Olympic breaks. But where I feel like this year's come alive, not only with their shot, but just kind of doing all the little things. The MVP voting a year ago seemed destined to finish even higher here this season. But as Clark launches and misses on a three. Smith with the offensive rebound, tried to reverse. Blocked on a foul, called on. Smith, who hasn't been as much of a scoring threat this season, has just kind of found her groove to your coaches and here, even adapt within the season. She misses the two free throws. Smith has been in double figures in each of her last four games. Smith catches, and shoot, and knocks down a three. There's Lexi Hull with another offensive rebound. She's got a couple up here in the early going, and Boston with a massive size advantage and takes advantage. The ball up there, she does a good job right now on the help side ball. Oh, call your met at the rim by Lexi Hull in a late. Especially with the block on, on the, the caliber player. Uh, and here, Lexi Hull would have really treasured that, uh, that block on her. From the line in Minnesota with a one point lead here early from Indianapolis. Here's Kelsey Mitchell, catch and shoot, knocks down her first three. One thing about this is she already knows she's got the Fever shooters in the Minnesota perimeter defense will be the storyline to watch here throughout of the break, and nobody defends it better than Minnesota. Here's Mitchell, head full of steam, little scoop shots. Close closer, that's hard to recover. Boston deep position once again. The Minnesota <laughs> defending bigger than her size. And once again, it's Clark. Ahead to Boston, who's got an early... The line, but being able to go and run the floor, the ball goes off the hand. Such a great time. McBride, one of the top three-point shooters in the W. Minnesota. There are turnovers here out of the timeout. McBride is open, and this is on a three. And there to clean up. Clark working on Natisha Heideman, who's just checked in. She's a good defender, too. And Clark, that was not easy, but got it to go. Shot faking the three, driving on. Eidemann leads in, flips it up, and draws the foul. You know, she strives for perfection. Uh, she stays in it, but she is one within her teammates and within herself as well. But you see the hesitation before the shot. That was 29% here in the first quarter. Clark looking aggressive. Clark launches and hits a three. You get it back. You have to be able to come back on defense ready to go. And that's the key. Clark pushing the pace on the other end. That three won't fall. And then steps into a three and can't connect. And here is Clark off to the races. It's a two on one. She'll bounce for Mitchell. Mitchell got it to go and a foul. I think they both want the same thing as far as success. And I think they both want to see each other. Game. As Mitchell catch and shoot, too strong on a three. Back Benley with the offensive rebound and the putback. In fact, item in the hesitation goes behind the back to Collier. Extra pass, and Lassini knocks down a three. And you talk about the rip. That blood's flowing a little bit, but being able to come back, hit your first shot, it's impressive. Clark sets up Dantas. Can't answer with a triple of her own. Drugs off Heideman. Here is Mitchell. And Lassini sticking with her. Mitchell got a goal here. That's a difficult look. To shine here out of the Olympic break. It's one of the top defenses in the league as Collier forces her way inside and muscles it home. Zandala City, two for two from out there. To come out with the exact same energy, and especially that's one way to do it. <laughs> Caitlin really just make it extremely difficult for not just Clark but all fever players to score. Might have been attacking Clark and rolls the second rounder who has really found a spot in the WNBA. It's Clark just weaving her way inside through tra the transition play. I mean, not only with her passing but also with her scoring. And and Dorka Yuhas knocks down the end one. Has adjusted to the ref and how they call the game. Hines Allen, aggressive take. Shot won't fall, but Hines Allen, she is a monster on the glass here so far. Wheeler just blows by Collier and lays it in. 
automatically be a scoring threat is exactly what she needs to be. Oh, your extra pass. And there's Heinz Allen again. Having a lot of... Um, but we've seen that time and time again. If you don't pick up Eric Wheeler... Drug tested for the third time this season. <laughs> saying, look, I, I, I might be... Owen Wheeler playing catch. Wheeler had an open three. Now she'll take it and knock it down. Oh, she's just having fun. Here, two here and there. A way to knock it down, no hesitation. Collier throwing the foul there to match the energy. <laughs> yeah, you got to come with it uh, any time of the day, all hours. Uh, and that's hard to do, especially when, you know, uh, they just kind of do what works and play how they want to play. A little out of sorts on that possession offensively. And Heinz Allen staying aggressive here. And she... 19 of their 35, more than half of their points. And struggling to control it here. As Clark had it knocked right into Mitchell, extra pass. Smith can't connect. Wow, so she's got to be careful out there. She was so impactful early. Clark the hesitation, Clark the floater. There it is. Back bounce pass, Mitchell into traffic, shot too strong. Smith can't clean up. Offensive rebound, and where's that one in? Tap, she leads all scores. Essentially, and just starting to play basketball is just to make sure that the player doesn't cut your face. Which basically means in front of you. So, that's tough. What perimeter defender? She's really versatile. Mark on the shot fake into a double team. Lofts it up for Boston. Williams sets up Collier, who's open, and that one rattles out. Not on the rest of the field. But Collier's having a terrific season offensively. Worth noting. And six rebounds. Jackson and the Sparks take on Angel Reese and the Sky. WNBA in history. I think it will go down as that very clearly. Mitchell on the handoff from Boston. And Heinz Allen. To start things back up again. It's the first time they're going to the playoffs in quite a while. Up for coach of the year in this building, too. Look at Heinz Allen. Doing a tightrope over there. Yeah. They would have one more win this year than each of the last two years combined. So look at Mitchell Clark playing catch. Hey, Clark. Shot, but uh, just kind of the execution right now for the Beaver. Again, it's not always about the mix of the makes. It's just about the right play. And there into the corner. Good defense there by Carlton. Shot clock down to five. Boston trying to create with the shot clock low, and Boston will. If you're underneath the basket, you got to be able to know where she's at and get ready for that spin move. Hines Allen skip past Carlton, and Mitchell just runs into her. That start of the season wasn't the best, but she's been able to really buckle down since then. And really two pro out of Iowa State. Knocking down the pair. He's back for Collier. That pass was deflected into the hands of Hines Allen. Wrap around pass to Carlton. Oh, that was pretty. They're on the fly, and she is... Shining here in the second half of the season. Alana Smith lines up and knocks down a three. Broke out last season in Chicago. He's taking that another step forward. Austin spinning into a double, just flips it up and shot his shorts. He'll head into the playoffs with a ton of experience. It'll be brand new for a lot of the fever players. With the win, they're just getting a little bit more and more confident in each other. Here's Smith rolling and finishing on the five from Cooper into some tough looks. They whip it inside. Smith couldn't handle it. Right into the hands of Williams in Minnesota. In front, this Minnesota defense has been smothering. The Fever have gone four minutes now without a main field goal. And Carlton off balance splashes it home. It's a four. To read the defense, who lets it open. Excellent defense here. Defender, so just coming up and have that. Mitchell trying to get Indiana going, and she red hot streak. But the Fever feel like they probably could have got a better look out of their possession. Collier straight away, knocks down a three. Silencing the crowd after what looked like a really big three in the second half. Austin on the drive, gets inside and banks it home. So Aaliyah Bobby. There is Clark, she's got numbers. It's a four on three. Clark right up the middle and draws the foul. Here is an excellent defense. Defender as well, just being able to move inside. Clark now with 19 points. Four assists, one more on the line than that. Minnesota battling for number two. Fever trying to hold down number six. And they lose Atlanta Smith underneath. Contested deep two-point shots for Mitchell that we've seen in the third. As Collier working on Boston. And then Holt comes in and had to foul her. 38% free throw shooter. And rolls 
the first one at 7 o'clock Eastern. It's the National Women's Soccer League on ION Saturday night. All season, the NF went for most of the first half of the Fever. Give it away way too easily there. Here's Collier going coast to coast and banking it home. Trying to pick up the intensity defensively. Here's Williams firing it inside. Collier hangs and lays it in. And the basics is a Minnesota defense that has been the lead all season long. Beaver had their way with it in the first quarter. Clark trying to get Indiana started, and maybe that'll help. Be able to keep that momentum, but lining up is something we've seen time and time. Williams steps into a three and knocks it down. Collier with the late help. Minnesota with numbers. Extra pass. Williams shot fakes the three, pulls up, and connects. Kick back out. Heideman shot fakes the three. Heideman gets inside. Look at the ball movement here from the links, and Heinz Allen cashes in. Cole steps into a two. That won't go. Lit on the rim here for Indiana. Boston into a quadruple team. Down 11 to up 12. This really feels like a key moment in this game as Collier can't hit that shot. Tough quarter on offense. Heinz Allen, maybe shuffle their feet. Gonna get the foul call. Man, in other words, this game is an opportunity to do that here, but there's still so much basketball to be played. Over the last three weeks, except when they played Minnesota, it's one by ten in Minneapolis. He's five of five from the line. Heidemann. Heidemann with five. Driving into back, then layoff balance feeds inside, and the vision here. Old part. If you get beat, you gotta let that one fly. Or. Looks have now taken nine more foul shots than the feet. Boston seeing two. That help comes late. Really good defensive sequence there for Minnesota. Mitchell on the drive, the floater, and she gets it. Start with your deals. Shots aren't falling. See if you can make some better that high low for Minnesota, it's been lethal. I mean, had late, and the links are able to punish him. Oh, corner three, knocks it down. Signs Allen, and watch by back Benley. Collier lines up a three, it's off the mark. Break there. Clark Mitchell, wide open. Two points here tonight. Carlton, corner three, that won't fall. Clark on a handoff, oh, had a moment there. Instead, looking inside for Boston. Boston will go to the free throw line. That row shooter. And able to connect on the first. And at times, that's to take a back seat offensively. At times, she's needed to put it. Williams on a crossover, Williams gets inside, floats it up, shot too strong. There's Dorka Juhas back for Williams. And Williams won't miss from there. Austin setting up Clark. ABC. Here with a three. Clark looking for space. Feeds it into Boston. Boston one bounce. Then lays it in. Leaves it shorts. Williams launches and hits a three. Big shot, Courtney Williams. So with a little breathing room here. Back up four. Williams trying to pick her spot, lob it inside. Juhas, denial. Back to her. This time it's Smith. Smith bustling inside. Mitchell launches and hits a three. Hadamid thought about the three. Hadamid on the drive. Bounce pass into the corner. Carlton launches and hits a triple. Big shot. Two all WNBA first team candidates have shown out here tonight. Smith extra pass. Carlton, big shot, Bridgets. Herself to make that shot. Her teammates are looking for it. The silencer from Bridget Carlton. Boston answers with a two. Smith can't hit the three. Look at Carlton making another impact play. And Williams dialing up a triple. Well, the ballot didn't come. Samuelson pulls down the rebound. Nice job by Heidemann to evade it. Clark. Back for Samuelson, hits a three. Minnesota with a five-point lead. Heidemann driving on Samuelson, gets by her, draws the foul. One minute and 50 seconds. Give them 12 in the last 150. Uh, in that third quarter, and it just made him pay bucket after bucket. Carlton started all of this, and she's trying to end it. Bridget Carlton, when they barely had a pulse. Benley back for a hole. 
Sixers with a three. Again. The need to force turnovers. Williams runs into a double team. Dangerous pass hole nearly took it away. Look it up, and she's done a great job just finding her rhythm. Uh, and her teammates are looking for her as well. Right now, a four point lead. So that's an important one. If Connecticut wins. The Lynx had the momentum for the entirety of that second half. They really set the tone early in the third quarter. A bit of momentum as they headed into the locker room, and they seized that momentum starting in the third. Yeah, it's difficult to stay mentally in it, so you have to be able to get over that barrier. And assists a couple rebounds shy of a triple double. There's Fag Benley from the corner. Juhas pulls down the of the season. And in a matchup of the two hottest teams here out of the Olympic break, and be right back here on IO. 